In this video, I wanted to talk about how you are not going to pass anatomy because it's very hard and challenging. Actually, no, that's not what I wanted to tell you. But I do know that anatomy can be very challenging and very hard class and along with a lot of other classes that you're going to be taking for physical therapy and so I wanted to make this video to share a resource or a tool that you can use if you're going through the PTA program or if you're thinking about going into it, anything related to the medical field. I wanted to share this platform out because it is a very useful tool to use when studying. If you want advice or tips on better studying strategies, I made a separate video talking about that and I'll put it in the description. But this video is just covering a learning platform called Picmonic. Basically, Picmonic is a learning platform that helps you remember and retain information into long-term memory. And they have a specific whole category for physical therapy, which is really useful because it kind of narrows your studying. You're not learning a bunch of random stuff, but it's all relevant to physical therapy. It's the main key points and the main topics that you'll need to know. I remember when I was going through the PTA program, I did not like studying at all. Like It was so hard for me because I would read the book and there was some stuff that seemed like it was over my head or I just didn't quite understand the concepts. But then in lecture, there were things that we talked about that weren't necessarily all related to what we needed to know for the test. And then my notes were sometimes jumbled or scrambled. And so I just had a hard time focusing all my ideas and to focus on what's most important and to remember that later on in the program. But with Picmonic, what it does is it makes your studying just not so cumbersome and it makes it straightforward, small segments, small chunks for you to learn at a time. So it's easier to digest that information and it's easier to stay focused and recall it later later when you need to. How Picmonic works is they use storytelling and pictures and cartoons to help you remember information. So basically they will tell you a story and each character in that story will correlate to a concept that you'll need to know for physical therapy. So if you can recall the whole story and the funny pictures that they have, then you can remember back to what all the concepts were that you need to know for your test. So it's really useful like that. But that's not all it offers. They have quizzes on there so that you can retest yourself to see if you can remember and recall information information that you've learned from previous days, which is really useful, and you can customize it. So you can add in your own tidbits of information that you want, or you can create your own Picmonics altogether. So if there's a concept that it doesn't cover on the platform, you can create it yourself. And also you can read what other people have written as well to see uh, what kind of value that they have added or different websites or different blurbs that they've wrote down You can kind of see that as well and there's just so much more to it than what I'm saying So let's just check it out for yourself Voila! So basically when you log on you can browse different categories and you can look at like the musculoskeletal system the nervous system the cardiovascular system You can look at all these different courses it has to offer You can click on a section and it will take you to all the things you'll need to know for that category. So say I want to learn the bones, baby. Then it'll go into the hand bones, foot bones. So then I say, okay, well, I want to learn the foot bones. I click on that. Then this is how it works. The tarsal or foot bones are described in this picmonic by the various foot bones characterized. These seven bones can be recalled with the acronym Tiger Cubs Need Milk. The T in tiger represents the talus bone, shown as the talons. The C in cubs is for the calcaneus the cow cane. What it does there is, is it explains a story for you to understand the concepts of each of the bones in the foot. And then what it does over here, so I'm on the educational portion, if you click on the story portion, then it'll tell you a story. Foot bones with the acronym Tiger Cubs Need Milk. The idea is, if you don't give your pet tiger cubs enough milk, they break out of their enclosure. They rake their talons across the talus, demanding milky goodness. And at the calcaneus, a cow fends them off with a cane. So they give you a story, and then if you can remember that story, then you can correlate it to the educational part of what the pictures all actually mean to correlate it to what part of the foot they're talking about. So it's a good way to learn the bones of the feet, which I think is great. And then after you finish that, they will give you a quiz and they will quiz you on which of the following of the foot bone depicted here, you know? It'll tell you what bone that is or whatever. And so that is pretty cool. You can also search for things up here. So say I wanted to learn about carpal tunnel syndrome right there, bam. Then I can click on that and it'll pull up a 
Picmonic of Carpal Tunnel. I can click on that. I did this Picmonic about a month ago and it talks all about Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, but some of the information in here is a little more advanced. It's for PTs technically. It talks about diagnosing and all that stuff, which you don't do as a PTA, but I think that it still is really valuable to learn that and it kind of helps your understand concepts better rather than your limited information you know as a PTA. So basically in this Picmonic, uh, it says that Carpal Tunnel Syndrome happens when your median nerve gets affected, you'll get pins and needles, tingling sensation in your hand and you can test this by the failings maneuver which is where you put your wrist together and it will either elicit pain um, and then you can test it with the tin tenel sign which is where you tap on the wrist and then if you get pain as well then you know you're positive for it and then ways that you can treat this is by surgery based on the surgeon or corticosteroids based on the stairs so I can remember all that information about carpal tunnel syndrome based on me just remembering the story that it gave about the tin owl and about Jimmy Fallon for the failings uh, maneuver. And so just by remembering this story, I can recall all the information that are relevant for understanding carpal tunnel syndrome, which is kind of cool. One of the things that I really like about this platform is they use evidence-based research to help you study. So they use strategies like spacing or linking or multiple other ways that, to help you study, which are all backed by research, which is super cool that they do that. But honestly, I would recommend just checking it out for yourself to see if it's actually valuable for you. So you can actually sign up for a free account and use all the features. I think there are some limitations like of how much you can use, but you can still check out the platform to see if it's good and then if you do actually are interested in buying it I'll put a link in the description to this video so that you can use it and I think you get like a discount or something like that I really don't know but even if you don't use my link and you just go buy it yourself that's totally okay it's super cheap it's like I want to say like four bucks a month if you buy it for a year or something so super cheap that's stupid so buy it but if you're broke and you can't afford it then then don't buy it that I would advise you not to but then again it could help you study so that you can pass it and then you can become a PTA so that you can pay it off so it was technically worth it so I don't know where I'm going with this I guess it's up to you <laughs> but, but anyways thanks for watching this video uh, I hope it was helpful I hope it was useful that you gained a new tool a new resource to use when studying if you like this video hit a thumbs up on it if you don't like it then still hit a thumbs up on it and I'll see you on another one peace